I love the arts, I love color, I love the texture, I liked creating stories. And I thought this is one way that I could create something that would tell a story. I've always wanted to be an artist, but my mom was a psychiatrist and she just felt that I could never work as a, an artist to make a living. That I had that creative mind. So I went to school, got a degree in art, taught art for 10 years and said, I can do this myself. This is something I really love and it makes me feel good. And I just went for it and I started painting. First and foremost, I'm an abstract painter. That gives me the freedom to roam, so I can go anywhere with it. But I'm trained um, traditionally. I have lots of styles, but the common thread through my styles is repetitive patterning. It's all about a conversation, it's about a thought, and then my thoughts become realities, and that's what my paintings possess, I feel. So it's all about the repeating of the pattern. And if you were to take and look at a microscope at anything, any adamant object, you would look at it and you would see what you see in my canvas, it's magnified, and that's called a fractal. I started with figurative painting, painting the, 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 um, the male dancer. And then I went on to painting a, a series called Men Behind Gates, which represented many, many things, and it represented all the emotions and feelings that men have, that they hide behind with the gates and the color red, and was uh, one of the common threads through all these paintings, which uh, signifies restraint, security, seduction, safety. And so that's what led me to the new series of the Tattoo Male, and these are people that I know that have a journey engraved on their body, and the tattoos tell a story.